we were talking about hoz, we're talking about grief. And we shared the story of Prophet Zakaria and, and the book of Al Ihtajaj. And we said that Prophet Zakaria, knowing what befell Imam, what would befall Imam Hussein, that he began to cry for three days. And he did a very special dua that he could share in some of the hoz of Karbala. Having grief itself is not something good. In the traditions we have, it's something discouraged. It's not good to be sad. But when you have grief for Imam Hussein, that is not grief. It is actually connection to God. It is actually spiritual enjoyment. That is the difference between having grief for Imam Hussein, being, having sorrow for Imam Hussein, and having sorrow for your own worldly affairs. Look at some of the traditions we have. From Imam Sadiq salam, we have the tradition in Al-Kafi that Nafasul Mahmum Lana Al Muqtam Lidulmina Tasbi. The breath of one who is saddened in our account is grieved for the oppression done to us is tasbi, is glorification. Just as you say, Subhanallah, you are this breath that you're taking because you understand how sad the event of Ashura is, it is tasbih for you. It is glorification of Allah. وَحَمُّهُ لِأَمْرِنَا ibadah. The grief for our cause is worship. So the sad breath is tasbih, is glorification of God, and the grief that happens, the hum that happens, is actually in the tradition worship of God. Therefore, this grief is much different than other types of grief. This is worship. This is connection to God. This is something that's very worthy, very precious. Look at it, all the traditions we have about the tears that somebody sheds for Imam Hussein. What reward they'll get? Look at the traditions that we have, those that recite poetry for Imam Hussein. What reward they'll get? Those that have majlis for Imam Hussein. Look at the reward they'll get. So having grief is the second part of our spiritual journey for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And of course, Imam Hussein does not need our tears. Imam Hussein, the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, as we read in Ziyad Jami Kabira, dhalla kulla shay'in lakum. Everything is humble for the Ahlul Bayt. They do, they do not need our tears. We need to cry for Imam Hussein. We need to cry so that we can link our hearts closer to Imam Hussein. When a person's heart gets attached to another person, they spontaneously become good. They spontaneously become like that person. That is one of the best ways for us to change ourselves, to change ourselves and benefit from our shura, to become more like Imam Hussein, is to link our hearts with Imam Hussein, to grieve like Imam Hussein, to have sorrow like Imam Hussein had sorrow. As we read in Ziyarat Ashura, we read, Alhamdulillah ala azim raziyati at the end. Allah praise be, all praise be to Allah for my great misfortune. May Allah, I thank God, Alhamdulillah, I say for this great raziyah, this great misfortune. So in this Ashura, in this Muharram, if you feel grief for Imam Hussein, if you feel saddened by the event of Karbala, Know that this is a blessing for you. Know that this is worship. Know that this is tasbih. Know that this is the second step in the spiritual journey of reaching Maqam al Mahmud, reaching the praiseworthy station. And we thank Allah for these tears. We thank Allah that He gave us the ability to mourn for Imam Hussein.